Hello, this is Christy, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you an overview of Camtasia's interface. This is the interface you use when you edit your videos and uh, you use the timeline and all the other aspects of working with Camtasia. Now, the first thing you will see uh, before seeing the screen is the screen where you select your project type or recording. So then when you start, you arrive at this interface. So this interface has like four or five different main areas. First of all, there's the menu on the left. This is where you will switch between all the various aspects and functionality of this software. So you will spend a lot of time here on the, on the left side. You've got the media where you load your uh, videos that you edit or the videos you record will appear here or graphics and images you import from your computer hard drive to use in your final projects. Then you have your library where you can include uh, things like pre-built graphics and lower thirds and motion backgrounds from the TechSmith people, or you can create your own media library with um, graphics or videos that you use all the time so that you don't have to go chasing them on your hard drive all the time. You just, you can go and create your uh, library here, default library. You can import media into it and then you can reuse it. I will show this in a separate video. Annotations are things you can add on top of your videos like callouts and text and different graphics and arrows and all these things. Then transitions, you can use them to uh, create transitions between elements like video clips or graphics that you add you can create different transitions so that they come in and out of your scene using an animation or of some sort then you've got behaviors like um, text behaviors and fading and pop-ups and things like that these are not necessarily transitions these are just um, special effects you can add to various elements on your scene then you've got animations which you can use on your video clips like zooming in and out and all these different you know animations that uh, with your video with your recorded video you can do you can apply these animations so for example if you need to zoom in on an area of a video you can use a, a zoom and pan animation here to zoom in and out okay and then you have cursor effects so if you are recording your screen you can add um, cursor highlights so you can show where your mouse cursor is or you can add various events like when you click um, you can add different things uh, to show up on the video when you your mouse clicks on things uh, or right click for that matter so that's the same the same thing and you have here voice narration if you are recording your um, video without talking or you need to make a correction on your video or record your voice during uh, or after you've recorded your video um, you can use this one here you select the microphone you want to use for that and then it's going to record and then you press start and it's going to start recording where your uh, cursor is okay and then you have audio effects uh, for example, if you have a recording of your microphone and you have noise, background noise, you can apply this noise removal to your audio. We will do this in a separate recording, uh, in a separate tutorial. And, you know, like audio compression to make the sound have the same level across the entire recording. Fade in and out for audio and clip speed so you can make your audio faster or slower. Then you have visual effects. You can add drop shadows and color adjustment and uh, removing a color like a green screen, for example. You can you can use all this section here to speed up or slow down a video clip and so on. And then uh, you have interactivity. This is not compatible for uh, video. So if you are exporting your final project to us to a normal video, for example, to load to YouTube, uh, these things will not work. But if you want to export using the interactive controller, um, then your project, you can add quizzes and things like uh, interactive features to your a video before it moves on so this is this is to uh, maybe create a video where you are training someone and then at the end you're adding a quiz to ask them a question or something um, and finally you have uh, captions uh, uh, captions so you can add like subtitles and text on the screen 
for your project. So that's the that's the left bar here. And let's go back to the media one. This is the media. This is where you media bin where you load your clips that you're working with. So just to show you here, I'm going to um, import a clip from my hard drive. Let me just drag it over to the media bin. So this is a video clip I imported now mp4. Uh, also here will appear the clips that you record with Camtasia. So Camtasia has been primarily built to record uh, your screen. So it can be used very nicely for creating tutorial. Actually most of the tutorials on my channel have been recorded with Camtasia. So you can set a recording of your screen or a window or an area on your screen to record. So all of those recordings will show up in the media bin right here. Then you have your main scene. This is the area where you are editing your um, your video project, your final video project, your final um, rendering of your project. This is this is your scene where you put all your your elements and uh, they will all show up in the final export. On the right here, if you click an object or you click an effect or something in your, in your canvas, you will be able to edit its properties. So if I drag my, my video here on the timeline, then if I click on select on my clip, then you can see here on the right, I can control some properties to do with my clip. So if I, if I go back to my video, this is a, my video here, if I change, if I select my video clip in the timeline and I change this, you can see that I can scale it, I can change its uh, opacity, I can maybe even rotate it, you know, I can do all sorts of things with my uh, video. And so this is um, applying, this is the panel that shows the properties for the currently selected element. So if I go to the audio here, you know, I can change the volume of my audio, make it mono, and all of that stuff. So if I apply a transition to my clip and I click on the transition, then uh, of course I can change the transition type here. So this is like the properties panel in your classic software. So that whatever you have selected or are working on will be shown here with the things you can change. Okay, and finally, the very important area in the window is the timeline on the bottom here. So this is where you're uh, assembling your animation or your final video. This is where you drag your video clips. This is where you set transitions. Um, as you can see, by default, it has a single track. So if I uh, remove the track here, so this is by default, you have just one track. Um, so you can add a video clip to your track and you can edit. But if you want to add another video clip, let's say I'm just going to drag another video clip into my scene, I can add it to the second track, right? And you can have, um, I believe, as many tracks as you need here before, but you know, you have to be uh, sort of conservative with them because they can become um, quite unruly if you if you lose your track so it's very important to organize your project um, because unlike premiere you can't nest and group these uh, video clips into a single track like a sequence and then you merge it and you see it only and you can go in you can't do this like in premiere so this is one big distinction you just have all these tracks here and even if you go to add an annotation if i want to add a call out even this one is going to take a track by itself so if you go if you go here you can see the annotation i added i can move it around but it it takes the space of a track to show this of course if you go down later you can add another one onto the same track so you're not wasting your track with a single object or call out but you can't have two things at once in the same uh, play position, right? So, um, you you know, everything you add in your scene will actually take one track to show up for the duration of how many seconds or um, frames you want to show it, okay? And um, yeah, this is, this is an overview of the interface. Of course, you've got the top menu and you've got the share button here, which we will discuss in a future tutorial this will allow you to export your video to different platforms or um, uh, different um, export formats so we will talk about this uh, later so this has been an overview of the camtasia interface 
and all the various sections and uh, thanks for watching if you enjoy these tutorials please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and like this video and tune in for uh, future tutorials on Camtasia and other graphic and video editing software thanks for watching see you later